Today's video is on Ka, Kb, Ph, Poh calculations in ice tables. So what we're incorporating are these two ideas added to this video from what we did last section. So the last unit we were doing Ka and Kb calculations in ice tables. In this unit we're doing Ph and Poh added to that component. Um, so let's understand what P is. P is defined as negative log of the H plus concentration or the OH minus concentration. So the definition for P of anything is negative log. Okay. So here we have a little bit on logs. Log form versus exponential form. So when we calculate these problems, we're looking at calculating pH or POH, pKa or pKb. What P means is negative log of whatever it is you're trying to find, which could be H plus concentration, OH minus concentration, Ka constant, or Kb constant. Now to inverse that is to use inverse log button, and I'll show you how to use an inverse log button on a calculator. So here's a typical log function here, y equals log base 10 of x. Here when I try to convert from that base function into an exponential function, all I have to do is rotate it in what is called, I call it the wheelbarrow method. So my Algebra 2 teacher taught me as wheelbarrow method. So what you do is you take the, the base, which is 10, and you bring it to the power of y, and it should equal x. So it makes a little wheel here. So this is the exponential form of that. So 10 to the y equals x. And so that's the, you're taking a log form and making it an exponential form. Logs are exponential functions. So pH is defined here. pH is negative log, so I forgot to add the negative, of base 10 times H, or of the H plus concentration. And oftentimes the pH is given at equilibrium. So it's a resulting solution at equilibrium. Now, if I wanted to convert that pH into log form and solve for the H plus concentration, what I do is I take the 10, I, oh, sorry, I bring the negative over, so this becomes positive, and then I bring it to the power of 10, or to the P, negative pH, and then that will equal the H plus concentration. So H plus is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So that's turning our log form into exponential form so that we can solve what's in that log function. So let's go ahead and look at four examples to help us to do this inner conversion between from the, from the H plus to the pH or the pH to the H plus concentration. So in this problem right here, you're asked to find the, the pH if the equilibrium solution concentration of H plus of a weak acid solution is this value right here. So pH, by definition, is negative log of the H plus concentration. So to solve this problem, I just take and plug in pH, negative log, and then the H plus concentration, which is 1 times 10 to the negative third. So now, since logs are based on a power of, or a base of 10, so all you have to do is take 10 to the 10 to the negative 3, this gives you 10 to the negative 3 right here. The log of base 10, 1 times 10 to the negative 3 gives you negative 3. But then the negative of a negative 3 gives you a pH value 3. <coughs> okay. So here we, in example 2, we're looking at the same thing where you're finding pH given the OH concentration. So. Now, one of the relationships that I understand is pH plus pOH always adds up to 14. And we'll derive this idea in class with water's self-ionization. So we take the pH. So pH equals negative log of H plus concentration, but instead we're really doing what is called pOH because we're given the OH concentration. So we're going to negative log that. And negative log 1 times 10 to the negative 8 gives you what is 8. This gives you a value of 8. Again, it's an exponential form function, so you're really looking at the exponent, but the negative of that exponent is 8. So if this is pOH, 
and pH and pOH has to add up to 14, pH must be solved by taking 14 minus the 8. So pH equals 14 minus 8, which is 6. So the answer is pH is 6. So here we have the reverse. So these problems, you were looking for pH. Now you're given the pH and you're finding the H plus concentration. So once again, we're looking at this re inverse log, which is 10 to the negative pH equals H plus concentration. So here I have 10 to the negative 2.0, because that's my pH equals my H plus concentration. So in the end, this is like saying 1 times 10 to the negative 2 molarity concentration of H plus. Um, so we look at this one, same thing, 10 to the negative 2. I guess I didn't really change up that pH. I should have, but so the same thing. And so that is your same concentration, 1 times 10 to the negative 2 molarity H plus concentration. Okay, so this is how to interchange between log and exponential form. This is a great chart that's also in your set problems. It allows you to be able to maneuver from one corner to the next using certain equations. Like if I wanted to go from H plus to pH, I take the negative log of the H plus concentration if I go this way. And then of course I'd take the inverse of it if I went the opposite way. So this is a great little map to help you to go from one corner, whether it be H plus concentration to pH to pOH to OH minus concentration. Let's see an example problem play out in terms of uh, this interconversion between pH and H plus concentration, okay? So in this first problem, we've seen this problem before, so let's read it. Calculate the pH in a 0.2 molar HF solution and its percent ionization. The Ka for this, the equilibrium constant for HF is 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. So here's my original. My original concentration is 0.2. I don't have any as ions initially. A change occurs. That change is something that I'm not told what it is, so I call it X. And then I make stoichiometrically the same amount of the two ions that make up this acid. And then, of course, I just add up the two rows, and I will get my value or my equilibrium concentrations healthy habits of writing out the expression. So I start off by writing out the expression for this reaction, and the expression turns out to be the products over reactants. So Ka equals products, which is H plus, over reactants. And then I just plug everything in. So x squared is these two multiply. And then the bottom term, I'm going to assume x is really small, so it ends up being x or 0.2. So assuming that x is very small compared, comparatively, x is smaller than 0.2 molar. And so this is all equal to Ka. The Ka is given to me as 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth power. Okay. So I've set this up and then I move out, remove my reaction or my ice table, and then I solve for my x. So x equals in the end um, point one two, or sorry, point zero one two molar. So let me get rid of this point zero one two molar. Now. If you go back to your ice table, it's, that's why it's nice to have an ice table, is if x is 0 0.012 molar, this is the amount that you have of each of these, okay? So I'm just gonna plug that into this ice chart. And I also can subtract it as well. Um, and that will then allow me to um, calculate the concentration of all these species at equilibrium, including my original acid. Now, I want my percent ionization. So, percent ionization is my X. So, if my X 
is 0 0.012, that's how much ionize, ionize out of how much, out of 0.2, I can then calculate my percent ionization by taking my amount that ionize, which is 0 0.012, and the original amount, which is 0.2, and then I will make a percentage out of that, and it ends up being 6% when I divide these two numbers. So that's my percent ionization. Now you're asked to find the pH. What is the pH? It says calculate the pH in this solution. So if you look at your, bring your attention to right here, where you see H plus concentration at equilibrium, you then can do pH equals negative log of the H plus concentration, which is this value. So pH equals negative log of 0 0.012, and that ends up being pH equals 1.92. Interestingly enough, the sig figs for logs is, the sig fig rule is you add one more significant figure in addition to what you have here. So there's two sig figs. To add one more to that is to give you three sig figs in the end. So again, we have the pH, the added component to this section is just calculating the pH, which is negative log of the concentration of whatever the H plus concentration. So now we go to another problem where instead of given, you're, you're not given the, um, you're not trying to find the pH, you're given the pH and you're asked to find the Ka from the pH. So we're gonna do some inverse logging, okay? So if it says right here, calculate the Ka of a 0.2 molar HF solution in water if the pH of the resulting solution is 1.92. So you're given the pH of the resulting solution. So we have to do a little bit of inverse log. pH, oh sorry, H plus is equal to, to find the H plus concentration, we take the 10 to the negative pH. So H plus, substituting those values into the equation, 10 to the negative pH, which is negative 1.92, and that will give you the concentration at equilibrium of your hydrogen ions. So that is, in the end, point, I got point, 0, 1, 2 molar. So it's the same problem as the other one, but I, I gave you the pH instead for this one. So 0 0.012. Make sure you enter into the calculator. Let me show you how, you how you do that calculation on your calculator. So here you have the inverse of your log. So find your log button, L-O-G, and so you press the second to inverse that. And so then you put negative 1.92 and that will give you the answer, which is 0 0.012, okay? So if this is the amount of this substance, you can assume that they both are the same amount in the end. The amount ionized would be this amount, and the original amount is what you have originally, zero of your ions plus 0 0.012, And then you subtract these two. So this is subtracted. And when you subtract these two, you get 0.188 molar. So to calculate the Ka of this reaction, you just do products or multiply these two reactants, or sorry, products, and then divide it by your reactants. So once again, healthy habits, healthy habit of writing the expression. So the expression is the ratio of products over reactants. So the Ka is equal to H plus times F minus times HF. And so when you plug everything in, you plug 0 0.012 and you square it over 0.188. Again, I'm using all my equilibrium values for my ice chart and that will give me my Ka value. So my Ka ends up being a little different from what your original Ka should be, but it's because the numbers are 
rounded as we go along the way. So this is your KA in the end, okay? Let's do a KB one, a KB, just for the variation purposes. So in this KB problem, you have a base and it's ionizing in water, pure water. And for bases, I like writing the react the water out so I can see how it produces the hydroxide ion in the end. And it's from the water once the hydrogen is accepted by the base. So here you're given 0 0.10 molar concentration of the base. And you're told how much ionizes. So I'm going to take that percentage, so it's 0 0.0134, and I'm going to times it by 0.1 of the original concentration. Because this is how much ionizes. So minus this amount, zero here, zero here, plus that same amount stoichiometrically, it's a one-to-one -one co one to one stoichiometric relationship, plus 0 0.00134 molarity, okay? So in the end, you end up with values of 0 0.0986 six six molarity and these two amounts here so one three four molarity zero zero one three four molarity and so when you do your kb once again healthy habits of putting all the relevant species which are these two products and only this reactant we do not include water because it's a pure liquid so the kb for this reaction is, and I'll just leave the equilibrium amounts visible. So the KB is just a ratio of products. Over reactants. Okay, so substituting all these equilibrium amounts in. I'm going to square this one. And then I'm going to get my KB value from that, okay? Because I'm asked to solve for KB. So once I have my KB value, which ends up being 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, I've done that part of the calculation. I need to now also calculate, if you look at the original problem, I need to also calculate what is called the POH. So POH means I need to find OH. So here's your OH calculation. This is the OH concentration at equilibrium. So to do POH, I do negative log, because that's what P stands for, of the OH concentration at equilibrium, okay? So I just plug it all in. And I will get my POH value, which ends up being 2.87. Now, if I wanted to do go a step further and calculate my pH, I just take 14 minus that. My pH ends up being, I, know, I haven't done this calculation yet, so 14 minus 2.87 gives you 11.13, which means this is a basic solution, as it should be because it is a base ionizing in water. Okay, I hope this helps. This is your setup for set one problems in unit eight.